we know MWO is on, it's, it's sailing out there. We know, we know, we get it. You guys got four years left with the IP, but this is four years that I was hoping we could go out on a bang and do stuff. There's no skill tree on this. There's, there's no matchmaker information on this. There is nothing on this. Absolutely nothing. This is the like worst possible scenario I've, I could have even imagined. And I feel so bad for the core team. Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here and welcome back to some Mechware Online news. Piranha Games just released the roadmap for 2022. This is in much anticipation prior to the holidays that they talked about with basically the future of MWO. And I made a previous video on that saying 2022 was a make it or break it year for them. So we've been waiting patiently for this roadmap and obviously a lot of speculation abound and it is here. And I haven't read through it yet. I'm gonna do that with you guys, but I have quickly glimpsed at the roadmap and I can tell you it doesn't look, well, it's underwhelming. So let's go ahead and dive in. And uh, I'm going to give you my real thoughts and opinions on this roadmap. So let's go. All right. Welcome to the MWO roadmap of 2022. The roadmap is a work in progress. Um, and then I'll go ahead and fix this really quick. This roadmap is work in progress and will be subject to change and may not contain everything we are currently working on. Then why wouldn't you post it on here? When something becomes confirmed, it'll be added to the roadmap. But if you're working on it, why is it not? I don't. Why are you working on something that's not confirmed? Anyways, we currently have two types of resources available to us at Prana Games: the MWO Core Team, the MWO Flex Team. Currently, we'll only be able to provide details on what the MWO Core Team is working on. Over the course of the year, we will have the opportunity to have additional resources working on MWO. But the, on the timing of those researchers resources largely dependent on the demands of other projects within the studio and for those that don't know that is lord of the rings online and evil versus evil they also may be working on a completely different other ip and project that is not known but those two have been announced by eg7 that piranha games is involved with so those two games are taking resources away from mechware online just to be clear mechware 5 development we don't know but those resources are better seated towards those projects to eg7 so just let that sink in as we go forward here we um we call those resources the mwo flex team when developers are available we assess the project goals and create a plan to suit those resources as i write this on february 25th we have resources available and work is in progress to utilize these resources however the deliverables are not listed on the roadmap until we can confirm the project completion so that sort of answers my question at the very beginning. But that also raises some red flags. We'll get into that later. This is why the roadmap is going to have to remain flexible this year. Hmm, sort of like the roadmap from last year that literally 85, 90% of the stuff didn't get done. That kind of flexible? All right, guys, I'm just telling you how I feel right now. With that said, we will still have a dedicated core MWO team that is hard at work to deliver patches with new content and experiences this year. We'll get into this new content. This includes new quick play maps, continued map updates, new mech variants, more free mechs, mech and weapon balance changes, and finally events and sales. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in to the roadmap. This is gonna be a little bit, uh... well, we already know we're about to hit March. Um, and this is a, uh, unfortunately, this is one of those where it, it scrolls left to right. This is a very awkward thing. So uh, if I zoom out here, you guys won't really be able to see as well. But let's just say we're in February right now. Patch notes, new champions, new trials. Obviously, I just covered all this. Uh, let's jump into March here. We've got a blood name delivered. That is the um, summoner and the kit fox. Emerald Ty Tyega, quick play, officially named to be determined. That again comes out next month, apparently. New environmental probes on maps, uh, would like explanation on that. Russian localization for game open beta. Now, um, they did not state this and I really wish they would have. 
uh, I call into question if this is actually going to happen, especially with the Russian invasion into Ukraine. Um, free mech events uh, have yet to be determined. Lucky Charms and, of course, the Blood Name Booster Pack Challenges. Uh, get Lucky Sales and Bundles of Luck. Now, if you'll notice here, before I go any further, um, we don't have anything in April. Um, and if you scroll down here, the only thing we have in April is Free Mech Event in April Fools. That's right, there is nothing in April. No patch, nothing. May, completely empty, except for Free Mech Event to be determined. June, quick play map from Faction Play, no details, no information. Free Mech, TBD. Let's move on to July, Q3, nothing. TBD on Free Mech, beach party event. August, nothing. TBD, Free Mech. September, annual rewards program, mechs announced. You spent money, we're going to give you some free stuff. Quick play Mac from Faction Play, no details. 2BD on Free Mac event. Annual rewards program sales. Q4, October, nothing. Trick or treat event is the only thing, which is always fun. November, annual rewards Max. TBD, Veterans Day and Remembrance Day, Thanksgiving. And December, holiday bonus Max. Quick play Matt. From faction play again no details holiday bonus mechs stocking stuffers event holiday uh, bonus mechs new year's experience christmas sale boxing day bundles of joy i have no words as of right now i am confused i am uh Another word, perplexed is the it's confused, perplexed. This is absolutely crazy. This is MWO. This is the development. Now, I will let, let's talk about what they're developing. Uh, when they say core team here, let me let me quickly lay out what they're talking about. They have Francois, which by the way, Francois, if you're listening to this video, you've done a great job. Continue building those maps. Mark Nicholson, continue making well, I don't know really what you're making here because there's no other mechs on here. So I have no idea what you're doing, but continue doing work. You've been doing fantastic. As far as Matt and Darren, I do not envy your job right now because if this is the resources you're given and or the resources that you've been allocated that you can't talk about, I do not have hope for this game moving forward. I This is literally, this says everything, guys. Like I, I, I have nothing, this is... This is it. Now, granted, we know MWO is on, it's it's sailing out there. We know, we know, we get it. You guys got four years left with the IP, but this is four years that I was hoping we could go out on a bang and do stuff. There's no skill tree on this. There's, there's no matchmaker information on this. There is nothing on this, absolutely nothing. This is the like worst possible scenario I've, I could have even imagined and I feel so bad for the core team. Now, I'll say this. Uh, we read the EG7 report earlier, and PGI is barely profitable. Barely. And, of course, you could say the launch on PlayStation uh, obviously didn't help and resulted in negative. It doesn't matter. But what that shows me in everything that EG7 has posted, that this IP is dead in their hands, and I do not see anything. I do not see any Mac 6 happening. I don't see an MWO 2.0 happening. I don't see anything. This IP in their hands is dead. But I say that with the hopes that we saw something today in the roadmap that would give us something. The literally words are echoing true. Just keep playing the game. Look, guys, I love this IP. I love this game, MWO. And, and I really do appreciate the work that the team, the core team, those individuals have been doing for the past year. But this right here is just absolutely... This sucks, man. 
it sucks that uh, that you know it's it's came to this. I, you know, funny enough, I was streaming today and jokingly was like, ah, oh, they haven't posted the roadmap. I'm gonna go for my run. I guarantee you, as I step outside the door, they're gonna post. Obviously, jokes aside, but I was cautious, I was optimistic, just a little bit, little bit of something, something skill tree. Now they said they have resources right now. And I'm fine. And guess what, Darren and Matt, if you're listening to this, the community will work with you guys. If this means you don't have months and months and months of having uh, an engineer or two, how much work can you do? We'll make it work, right? The community can come together and come up with suggestions for the skill tree. And you have the cauldron doing obviously a lot of work behind the scenes on balance and quirks and so forth. But I think this is just the nail in the coffin. And you know what? I, I just, you know, I'm super disappointed in Russ and EG7, specifically management at that company, to where you've been just stringing us along and not giving your team the resources to be successful and really doesn't really require too much. But, um, you know... <laughs> This is uh this is a day. So this isn't a fun video. I didn't want to do this. I didn't uh I didn't anticipate it being like this. I have I have I have, you know, like I said, this is exactly why your content creators for MWO are moving on. Um and has been for a few years. And I myself, this was and is, I'll be on record as saying, this is this was the thing I was waiting for to make my determination of just basically Roger that. And so, um, you know what? That sucks. Uh, and I appreciate everyone's uh, support out there. But um, uh, PGI proper, if that's what you want to call the leadership, has uh, continued to push sales and uh, us spending money on the uh, coattails of hope that work would be done on this game. And uh, I do not blame, by the way, anybody, Matt, Darren, Mark, Francois, you guys working your ass off. I've said this from the beginning. I feel like they put you into a place that was unattainable, especially without the resources. And, and Russ, if you're listening, man, we wanna give you money, but you're not doing anything. And to expect players and community members to be happy about this to where we're just getting the bare minimum and you're rightfully going to say, well, the game's not profitable. You made those decisions back then for faction play and Solaris were wasted millions of dollars and you put people in charge. That's on you. That's not the community. And you could have turned this around. The player number showed it on Yarl's list. It was going up. You had a chance. God dang it, man. This is just really upsetting, you know? Like, super upsetting. I don't know what else to say. I'm super disappointed right now. This is the worst thing that could have, you know, like... Now, all this being said, maybe they do knock out some skill tree. Maybe the silver lining is, you know what? As this game rides out into sunshine, it will have some resources dedicated. But this right here does not give me any any like good feels when you have entire months that there's nothing even there now of course patch notes aren't there because the game's not up but what can be here quirk changes balance changes how about matchmaker one of your biggest issues in your game or at least have the conversation nothing no, there's nothing there. I mean, that's it's plaguing your community, and it's it's an easy fix. I don't, I don't really know, but anyways, guys, this is uh, your roadmap for 2022, and <laughs> uh, I don't know what else to say other than EG7, which I highly doubt you're listening to this. Is this is this what you're bringing to game? I mean, guys, like give them some engineer resources, and your profit and numbers will turn and be even higher. But don't expect to bleed this community dry. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna spend money, you know, and do that. I'm not gonna on the on the on the. Well, 
if, if we don't support them, then, well, there's nothing. Well, there's going to be nothing in four years except for you're going to have less money in your wallet. And for what? I mean, again, I want to support Matt and Darren and the crew, but give us something, man. This has been the most disappointing video I've made for MWO. And like I said, I've pulled back. I've realized that my expectations just didn't really meet reality. But man, this isn't even... <laughs> this isn't even... I don't even, I don't even know what else to say. Just, wow. Um, disappointment. I, I think that's, that's the biggest thing. Because you, ha like you, you just put that little bit of seed in there to where hey guys there's potential big change there's potential we can just that little bit of seed of hope right just just keep playing your game be dedicated and this We've been waiting months for this. Months. And what, what the thing about this is what what leads you to question is stuff they're saying is. Not everything we're working on is on there, but the reason it's not on there is because we may not have the resources 24 seven. So we may start something, but we don't know when it's gonna be finished. So that is why it's not on there. But then what's more important to you, Russ? Like evil versus evil? Lord of the Rings? I get it, you're not in control anymore. But I think that just sort of shows the MechWare and Battletech fan base the real story of all this. This is this is the real roadmap, is the roadmap to 2025 when you move on and the community does too. I think that's what this is. That's what I'm going to call it. The roadmap to 2025 when EG7 moves on and Piranha Games goes and works on other projects and i hate to say it sounds rude but i'm trying not to be but and you know what sucks is there's going to be community members that stick around because they love the ip and they're going to stick here for the ip and you know they'll they'll buy those packs right they'll buy it better to have something than nothing right that's 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 a shit spot to be in because I feel you. I feel you. That's also what this does. Because right before this, before this, before the roadmap was posted, you know what was posted right before the roadmap? Sales. And it's funny because one of the first comments on this 
was like, hey, where's the roadmap? Where's the roadmap? Well, the, waiting on the web guy. Didn't the web guy do that first? So sales went up. I don't really know, man. I'm just disappointed. I don't know what else to say. Guys, uh, that's your 2022 to 2025 roadmap. Now, if things turn around, I will make a video and I will say as much. But if you are one of those that have been a loyal customer to PGI, and I, and I understand why, especially Battletech MechWare. I love this game, by the way. I love playing MWO. Realize what you are. You're a consumer to a company. And the best thing you can do to show a company how you feel about something is making decisions with your wallet. I'm not telling you not to buy something. What I'm saying is just realize who you are. Are you getting what you're paying for? If you think you are, continue doing you. But just ask the question, does this roadmap have what you'd expect? Other than, by the way, any patch note changes as far as XMLs, that's community driven. That's work the community's done. Um, sales. And outside of that, uh, really ask yourself, so I'm going to leave it on that note. Um, that's your 2022 to 2025 roadmap. And uh, man, that's disappointing. Until next time.